So sports hernias are a presentation that you will obviously see in the athletic population, um, usually due to um, excessive planting and pushing motions, twisting, turning of the proximal thigh and lower abdomen in contrast to one another, um, such as, again, like one of our previous um, presentations, hockey, soccer, um, rugby, tennis, um, possibly something like skiing. These are things where there's a lot of planting and turning and the thigh will rotate in contrast to the abdominal wall. Now with hernias, you're looking at injury to the, uh, sometimes you read in the literature about inguinal ligament hernias. Sometimes you see it in the oblique tissue or the TA transverse abdominis that interplay between inguinal ligament and abdominal wall, which by the way, the inguinal ligament is formed by these abdominal muscles. That is where you begin to see, uh, both location of pain arising and a compromise of the tissue locally. Um, when you have somebody with a sports hernia, this is definitely something that needs to be examined by a professional for um, diagnoses because there's going to be a series of aggravating movements that they have to avoid. Um, one, one key thing you can look at other than pain, uh, which can mimic a lot of muscular symptoms is things like coughing or sneezing, uh, being a problem, you know, breathing based stuff that would access that compressive role of the abs, um, will increase the herniation and elicit pain. Um, so, so anything that's Valsalva based pain should draw you towards that. But, uh, MRIs would be called for, um, and other, or some other diagnostic imaging to confirm, and then it would require the, uh, the intervention of a surgical specialist.